Gemini, welcome to your end of February 2019 tarot update. It's Raina here. I had to start over again, so let's get right to it. The heart of the matter is the Page of Wands. This is a card of hearing some good news. Maybe it's welcome news. Maybe you've been waiting uh, to hear this message. And... Um, with wands, we're talking about a sense of excitement. Um, it's stoking those flames, lighting your fire, so to speak. Um, this could even be hearing from a fire sign. Your opposite sign, Sagittarius, maybe, or Aries, or Leo. It could be talking to one of those signs and having, you know, maybe even flirtatiously, in the past position, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is a card of the workhorse. And so if this is you, Gemini, you may have like made a pact with yourself that you are going to work may, maybe uh, really long hours for X amount of time because you were saving money for a specific thing. Uh, I see a card that could indicate that you have been wanting to get out of a situation so maybe you needed money for a move to leave if you're if you're with a partner and you know you've been splitting the expenses and now you are going on your own you may say i need extra money so that i can have um a new you know traveling expenses a new place to live and things like that now this could be like a um, a job situation where you're working in a place, maybe it's more like a, a nine to five situation, and it may not be something that you're really like into, but it was decent pay and it was like steady work with the Knight of Pentacles. And with, the, it, with this message, it could be like a new job that you've applied for, maybe sent a resume to. And it's much more what you're looking for. So um, that's why you would be more excited about it. Because we have as the advice is to, like in terms of whether or not to, how you respond to it is eight of cups, leaving what no longer um, has your heart, what no longer fulfills you. And um, as I always say with the Eight of, of uh, Cups, you know, it's not about leaving. It's about, you know, it's easy to just walk away from something. Well, not always, but you know what I mean. But it's like, do you have a vision of where you're going? Uh, because sometimes people are so into the escape route, you know what I mean, that they're not, they, they have no vision of what it is that they want instead of whatever it is that they have. And sometimes, you know, in certain circumstances, that's getting away is the main thing. You don't need to know exactly what you're going to do, but it could be a very, um, you could, you know, sometimes people are in very dangerous situations where they have to just leave no matter what. Um, but in this case, this is more of a fulfillment issue. So, if this is a relationship, you might be with somebody who is very dependable. I've, I've gotten that Knight of Pentacles. Um, I can't remember if that was for Sagittarius or not. But this is, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is connected to Taurus specifically. The other Earth energy is Capricorn and Virgo. And Virgo is has some similarities to you because you're both ruled by Mercury. So I could see you with a Virgo person. And even though they're uh, an earth sign, you will still would have the, the mental rapport. But it, it's, it's a thing where Gemini is a sign that craves a lot of novelty. So in relationships, a person who is dependable may be viewed by you as boring, even though that's not necessarily true you require a lot of stimulation from a person. And it, and I'm talking about, I'm actually talking about mentally uh, more, more than anything else. 
and um, not everybody can fulfill that for you. So uh, you may kind of flit around from flower to flower until you get what you want, but um, you may hear from somebody that is, or, or it could be something that you're hearing, but it could be somebody that you're talking to that is very, um, like I said, stimulating, or just they have that certain something that makes you intrigued, and and you just feel passion with that person. What crosses you is represented by the two of Wands, this is a card of deciding whether or not to stay or go. Um, yeah, so for some people, this may not be this cut and dry decision. You may feel like obligated to stay, especially if you have children. If this is a job situation, same thing. You may have other people to consider, like your children, and you can't just, oh, well, I don't like my job, it's boring. Uh, even if you do get a, a new job offer, you may be a little bit like, okay, but how do I know this is going to be uh, a stable job? You know, do I really want to leave something that is a known quantity for something new? Even if I don't feel fulfillment. Also, the two of wands can point to even relocation. And so let's say this is for a work situation. You may be like hesitant to do so for whatever reason. And you just don't necessarily want to leave. And you're kind of like, eh, you know. And um, I think, you know, that new moon in uh, Aquarius that we just had, you know, that was your ninth house of foreign travel. So maybe that's where that opportunity comes from. But, you know, I always say this when it comes to transits. Just because you have a transit doesn't mean you're going to follow through. Because there may be, it's, this is true all the time. I mean, there are things that you may get offered and they're great offers. But for some reason, you just, you know, are hesitant. So, I don't know what to say. It's like, I do know that the two of wands, or any twos, could be like trying to make a decision, trying to decide something. What is coming in is represented by the King of Cups. This is um, a card that represents an older water sign male who is very caring and so <laughs> maybe that's the, the person that you have met. Maybe that's who you're going towards, the Eight of Cups. So this would be either a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this person, um, it, th this is the kind of person, like as a profession, who is a counselor or a religious figure. So in some cases, if this is bothering you, you might be talking to somebody who is in a counseling field or a clergy member because of things that you're going through that that um, feel hard to make a decision, especially if the stakes are high. This could even be like a, a boss who is a caring individual and um, who really may value your contributions. So I, if I had to decide, I, you know, it's hard to know if this is like a new boss or the one that you have. Um, I really can't tell you that, but if it is like a current boss, you may say, maybe, maybe this person, like if you gave your, your, uh, notice to leave, this person says the right thing and even gives you a promotion or something like that. Now, understand that I'm talking about for people who are thinking of leaving, not just, you know, run-of-the-mill situations. But the outcome card is this very positive, the sun card. So this is a card of success. So we can say it's a yes card. And so whatever the situation is, the answer is yes. So if this is a new love, 
uh, who happens to be somebody with a, a strong signature of water, then the answer is yes, this is the one. If it's um, talking about somebody that is your superior, your manager, your boss, uh, they contribute to your success in some way by promotion, by maybe giving you more money, but there's a, an emotional connection there that they understand how you feel. So whether it's the current job or whether it's a new job that you take, that you connect with this person, it doesn't really matter. The point is, is that you have somebody on your side who happens to be also your boss. And this person values your contribution. They want you to succeed. They care about you. And it's not just about how much money you make. If I would have gotten the King of Pentacles, then we could say that this person is somebody who is very um, conscious of the profit that they're making or that the employee is helping them to make. And you may not feel valued by such a person because you might feel like they're just after uh, the money and they don't really care about you. This person connects with you emotionally. And again, this could be in your personal life. And uh, you feel that and, you know, come to think of it, yes. So the Knight of Pentacles, if this is another person, you may not feel that this person has feelings for you the way that you want them to. Uh, they may be too cut and dried. And because it's a knight versus this man as a king, um, that person may be more immature, although the Knight of Pentacles is considered a very uh, responsible individual but the king of cups is going to be much more sensitive to your needs and so there might be an emotional or spiritual connection with the king of cups that you can't have with another relationship okay that's what i have for you gemini i hope that you enjoy this and if you'd like a personalized reading please check my out my online store. I have a link below. Take care. Bye.